What's going on guys, it's your boy Avionics, back with another action figure video. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I do put out quite a few videos throughout the month. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at one of NECA's newest and latest action figures in their TMNT cartoon line, the Colossal Chrome Dome. This is an ultimate figure. And so this is the front of the box. Here is the side of the box reminiscent of the old VHS TMNT cassettes from back in the day. This one says volume number six at the bottom. Of course, it is a little bit bulkier because Chrome Dome is filling up the inside space. When we look at the other side or on the back side, here is the other side, same thing. And then on the back we have an artist graphic and an explanation. A robotic warrior of superior intelligence Chrome Dome was created to command the foot soldiers during construction of the Technodrome Mark II. With its impenetrable adamantium skin, Shredder designed the colossal Chrome Dome to be utterly invincible. Unless the turtles can discover Chrome Dome's vulnerable control panel, they are no match for this mighty mechanical menace. Down here they have some product shots and on the back here, interestingly enough, we have Casey Jones and Zack the Fifth Turtle. Is this a little hint that we will be getting an ultimate Zack? That would be pretty dope because he does uh, appear in the Night of the Rogues episode with Chrome Dome. On the bottom, we do have the cast of creating Chrome Dome here, including barcode for anyone that is wanting it. Go ahead and take that down. Also, it says here accessories include laser blaster, computer, swords, interchangeable hands, belt, and sheath. Just like some of the other ultimate figures in this line, the front cover does open up to reveal the figure itself along, alongside the uh, interior cover of a product shot of Chrome Dome. As you can see, Chrome Dome is very large and taking up all the space inside here. So let's go ahead and take Chrome Dome out. So upon opening the packaging, there is a little background scene slash maybe semi dio of being inside the Technodrome, which is pretty cool. So you can probably use this as a little display diorama for Chrome Dome to be standing right there. And then we have the actual plastic shell with everything there. So let's go ahead and take him out of all of this. All right, so we have Chrome Dome and all of the included accessories taken out of the box. So we are gonna take a look at all the accessories first. So these are the hands he comes with out of the box. As you can see, it is of a, a mean menace sculpt to it, like he's about to wreak some havoc. So that's one set of hands. Then he has a pair of closed fists, a right and a left. And all these hands, they hinge side to side, as you can see right there. And then a second set of hands is gripping hands of his swords. Here, so here's the right. These are all painted black. Actually, his sword hand fist sculpts, they hinge up and down for better articulation. As you can see there, it is an up and down hinging motion on both the sword gripping hands. And then another set of hands is a right and a left sculpt of the same pretty much as mirror image of these like a uh, salute hands kind of as the best way I can explain it so there's a right and left of that and then he has a single hand where it's a trigger finger for his laser blaster so he has a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine hands and then here are his samurai swords now these are of a, uh, they're not like regular samurai swords like Leonardo has. They're more techy and like more of a robotic form to it. So as you can see, it's got a white blade with the edge of it painted gray. And we have a red painted dot over there. Some black with some ridges here. So very nice sculpt on these swords. Got a black and blue handle with another red tech dot right there. 
So the other sword is a little bit shorter, but it's pretty much the same thing. So there we go. And then he has his blaster, which is a different sculpt than the blasters that you would find your foot soldiers with or with Bebop and Rocksteady. So here's that. Nice paint, nice sculpt. Be careful putting this in Chrome Dome's hand as this part is very thin and looks like it may or may not break off easily. Well, just be careful. You know, hot water and uh, a hair dryer is your best friend when handling NECA figures, as you all may know. So here's the back. So this is a nicely sculpted laser blaster, really cool. And then we have the computer. Now, this is kind of uh, odd. So, so Chrome Dome appears in two episodes. I forgot what the name of the first appearance was, but he also appeared in Night of the Rogues. And in Night of the Rogues, Zack the Fifth Turtle, he uses this computer to be able to disable Chrome Dome for the turtles to be able to defeat. So this is this another hint as we may be getting Zack the Fifth Turtle. That would be awesome. So yeah, so here's a nice computer that goes with Chrome Dome, very nicely sculpted and painted. Now let me go ahead and bust out Baxter Stockman's computer because he, the ultimate or the two pack of him and Splinter came with a computer for Baxter Stockman. So here is Baxter Stockman's computer, side by side comparison with the computer that comes with Chrome Dome. But yeah, I mean, I can see using this. I mean, even though he does come with Chrome Dome, I can see using this with April O'Neil. Uh, you know, it is an older style computer with a floppy disk drive. But I think this would be a good prop to go with April O'Neil as, you know, April O'Neil's a reporter. She can be typing away on the keyboard at her desk at the Channel 6 office. And that's pretty much all the accessories. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at Chrome Dome himself. So NECA, they really nailed the sculpt and the size. Oh, I wouldn't say the size, but the appearance and the sculpt of Chrome Dome. They, they marked it down to a T. I mean, just take a look at how big he is. We're gonna take out a few of the other figures in the line to show how just how big he is. But like in the cartoon, at times he looks a little bit, a lot more bigger than everyone else. But overall, NECA really nailed the look, the colors, the paint, the sculpt of Chrome Dome. So there is his head and face sculpt, kind of reminiscent of Shredder's helmet. You know, he's got that dome, that's why they call him Chrome Dome and he's, He's a huge robot built by Shredder, and he does look a lot like Shredder, even with the mask here. Nice paint all around, and red and, and the blue. Now, he does have a different appearance as far as the cell shading compared to the other figures, figures in this line, but it, pr it pretty much stays true to the cartoon and looks like the cartoon. So then we have, going down, we have mainly a robotic armor chest and crotch area, and then his heavily black suited sleeves and pant legs. And then we have some elbow armor here. And then we have the knee armor right here in the front. And then these wings of some sort. He does have this uh, soft, more rubbery type of belt that will sheath the swords right in here. And then he does have a peg right here to be able to peg his gun in place. And where is that hole? It's right here. So it'll go in just like this. There you go. Also, in that first appearance of him in the cartoon, April says that he does have a weak spot and it's this computer chip back here as to what when they disable him the very first time. This is actually painted blue just like the belt when in the cartoon it's white. Not a big deal but just something I am noticing but yeah that is supposed to be his weak spot as far as when the Ninja Turtles defeated him the first time the first appearance of his episode. Let's do some articulation shall we? So there his head is already kind of down. Head up before it hits the wings. We have rotation all the way around nice and smooth articulation at the neck and head and we do have some tilt all right shoulders they go up that much before this piece hits the shoulder 
or the this part and then we do have 360 before it hits the wings and wow being such a big figure the articulation so far is pretty smooth and it's it's not tight and it's not loose but it's just it's not being it's just so nice so we have bicep swivel here so here it's a little bit tighter it's already doing the splits but he does have bicep swivel okay that one was i just had to break it loose and then he does have double jointed elbows right there he does have wrist rotation and like i said all these hands they hinge in and out or sideways like so yeah but the articulation is so nice for such a big figure like this feels really good all right so he does have a torso cut right there so he can ab crunch a little bit back crunch pretty decent and he does have a little bit of extra twisting motion there at that cut and then he does have a cut at the waistline so 360 rotation all the way around at the waist and then his legs it goes four but at an angle like so and then it does have a little bit of thigh rotation at that ball ball hip joint then we have double jointed knees pretty good look at that pretty good like that and then we do have a it's a boot cut but it's not actually an articulating boot cut and then we have feet articulation right here that's as far up as it will go as far down as it will go and it has the ability to swivel like so and then he actually does have a toe articulation it's a little tight right now so with a little bit of hot water should be able to knock that right to be able to use that articulation but as you can see there is the pin there i'm going to go ahead and heat him up just a little bit to show that off all right so after about 10 15 seconds of running his toes under a hot water in the faucet we do have articulating toes right there So his swords go in nice and easy, just like that. There we go. And then let's go ahead and holster his blaster. Once again, it is this black circular hole right there. So Chrome Dome stands to about... So now let's go ahead and break out some other NECA TMNT cartoon figures for some scale comparison. So even though Chrome Dome only made about two appearances in the TMNT cartoon, I think go ahead and add him to this collection because he is a nice overly sized figure and he goes good with all the other baddies and shredders foot clan and whatnot and yeah and he'll look great on your shelves too along with this entire line but yeah chrome dome is a great looking action figure at his size and he articulates very well for his size and it looks great with all of his weapons in hand and he comes with what a total of nine total hands so yeah very great figure for that price point of 39.99 if you guys enjoyed watching this video i'd appreciate it if you hit that like button Leave all your comments and thoughts about Chrome Dome down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.